Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about a fellowship scheme uh, which you should watch and which you should apply for if you are a research scholar. And if you are not a research scholar currently, you should save this video for later on because this fellowship is something through which you can do an internship during your PhD course in France. Okay, So this fellowship is called Raman Shepak Fellowship Scheme. And this fellowship scheme comes under Indo-French Center for Promotion of Advanced Research, IFCPAR. And the same thing is in French also written over here. So this is a particular fellowship for which application has been announced. And I'm just going to discuss about that in this particular video that what are the uh, eligibility criteria, how you can apply for that, each and everything which are required for this particular fellowship, we are going to discuss in this particular video. So do watch this video carefully till the end. And uh, first of all, I'll just give you some brief introduction of this particular fellowship and all the important links are there in the description of this video. Okay, So you can come up to uh, the websites and you can read of your own. Also, uh, in the uh, description of this video, there is a timestamp so that if you want to watch a particular section of this video, then also you can watch that, right? So this particular fellowship is given uh, in the honor of uh, two Nobel laureates, uh, C Sir Sivin Raman and George Chepak. Okay, so these are two Nobel laureates uh, under whom, like in the honor of whom, this particular fellowship scheme has been started. And this is also the like this is also one of the way in which India and France are like they are just communicating through scientific methods. So their relation, the inter-country relations, are being developed through scientific research. So the target group for this particular fellowship are Indian and French research scholars and master students. But the master students are only for the France. Okay, this is not for the uh, for Indian master students. And uh, this uh, master student from France has been included from year 2016. Before that, master students were not included in this. Duration of this particular fellowship scheme is uh, two to six months. And areas to which it is given a uh, comes under almost all of the sciences like atmospheric science, earth science, environmental science, material science, physical science chemical science, engineering science, biological science, life science and medical sciences, mathematical and computational sciences. So almost all of the like all of the science streams are given this particular fellowship. So I'll take you to the current official website. I'll give you a link for that in the description of this video. So this is the official website which is currently uh, like it's uh, the application has been announced. So that's why this particular is the active website right now. The previous which website which I showed you was just for the brief introduction, a brief idea of the fellowship scheme. So again, the same website, uh, the same name is here. And if you see, it says that Raman Chapak Fellowship 2022 call for application deadline is 31st of March 2022. And it's an online submission. So in order to read this, we will click on this online sub, uh, application and we will be taken to this particular page where you have to log in and all. So I'll come back to this later on. First, let's read about the instructions, okay? Because that is very important. So let's leave, uh, read about it. Remember that the deadline for this is 31st of March. When you click the instruction, this is a PDF which you can download, and this is where all the information is there. So all basic information is there, like about uh, what this fellowship is and under uh, like for whom, for whose honor this is given. I have already discussed with you. So the program is now also open for French master students, as I told you and uh, it is also for it aims to improving the master skill of french student by providing them opportunity to carry out internship work in the university research institute based in india so what happens in this fellowship scheme is that students from india are taken to france and they can work in france institutes of france and students from france they are brought to india they can work in indian institute so that's what it is it's a exchange program okay so Please note that the applicants must have a predetermined project proposal that has been discussed and agreed upon by the student and the two supervisor, Indian and French, before applying. So the target group for this is the fellowship program is dedicated to highly qualified PhD students registered in Indian or French research institute uh, or university and master students from France. Okay, I have already uh, said this many times. So the program offers an excellent opportunity to carry out a part of their respective PhD slash master's research project in each other countries and further establish professional relationship, promote new s &T cooperation and experience another cultural context. So that is the target. Duration of this particular fellowship 
is minimum of two month and maximum of six month. Field of research, as I already told you, atmospheric science, earth science, environmental science, mathematical, uh, material science, physical science, chemical sciences. Then comes engineering sciences, biological sciences, life sciences, medical sciences, mathematical and computational sciences. Now let's talk about what is the fellowship support. So for Indian fellow, the Indian fellow who is going to go in France, for him a fellowship support of 1500 euros per month for daily expenses, local travel, accommodation charges plus social security charges. For French fellow who is going to come from France to India, he will be getting a fellowship support of 40,000 rupees per month uh, for daily expenses, local travel, etc. plus accommodation charges not exceeding rupees 45,000 per month. Apart from this fellowship, you will also get to and fro air ticket in economy class between India and France. Uh, there will be insurance coverage uh, wherever it is required. Then any administrative cost for visa or registration if required that is also going to be provided to you. So a fellow may be provided with the additional support up to 500 euros for Indian fellows and equivalent amount for the uh, in Indian rupees for the French fellow for participating in seminar and workshop during their term of the fellowship. So in case uh, during your fellowship you want to participate in some seminar or workshop you will be getting 500 euros for that as well. Such claim will be provided on the actual receipt proof of participation acceptance of paper and after the completion of fellowship duration by awarded student. So, in case of local regulation uh, requires quarantine at the arrival after COVID-19 contamination of the candidate or due to the local epidemiological situation, the quarantine period is considered within the exchange period and all the uh, like things are given to you. Please note that the support will not be provided for any family member during the fellowship period. So, this is entirely for the PhD fellow that is it. What are the eligibility for this? So, applicant from India must be Indian citizen residing in India and have registered for a PhD in recognized university or research institute in India. Applicants from France must be residing in France and have registered for PhD slash master's degree in recognized university or research institution in France. Maximum age limit is 30 years uh, as of on 1st of April 2022 and uh, you cannot be more than 30 years in case if you want to apply for that. Students once supported by CEFIPRA means for the same fellowship if you have been already supported once uh, also in the framework of CEFIPRA projects and students who have permanent position in institution universities are not eligible. So in case if you have already applied for this fellowship before and if you have already got this particular fellowship then you cannot apply for this. Pre-authorization or prior consent from his or institute university to apply for the foreign fellowship program is also needed. So, you should ask your supervisor, you should ask to your uh, like a PI for this particular fellowship. If you want to apply for that, you should discuss with him because so today when I am uploading this video, that is going to be 16th of March, you still have around uh, like you have around 15 days, 14, 15 days to apply for this. So, that much duration is enough if your uh, supervisor is interested in it and if he thinks that yes you should be sent for this particular fellowship and if you are also willing to like uh, participate in this particular thing then it is very well uh, recommended and you should go for this right. Coming down is one more eligibility that eligibility to the fellowship required total engagement of the candidate to respect the traveling and local sanitary regulation as well as the university or institute sanitary rules. Candidates should consider regular ch uh, changes in regulation depending on the situation. Okay, fine. So, these are regarding the COVID-19 situation. Okay. How you can apply? Okay. So, application process and documents required. Let us read them. So, online application, you have to go to this website to apply. I have just shown you. You have to log in. You have to make profile and then you have to fill the form. A uh, detailed description of, uh, of the research plan or research proposal or research or educational proposal. Okay. Whatever is there. So, generally research proposal you have to make maximum up to 5 pages. So, you have to make a detailed research proposal for that in a prescribed format. Uh, the format is also provided to you. Link is there over here in the same page. So, I will show you. The so, link is below. So, which notably ask for the title and the research work plan and explanation of the expected benefit from his or stay in the proposed research institute in France slash India. Means, you have to first of all give a title to your research. Then, you have to talk about that what plan you have made what you are going to do throughout the research work and you have to explain that whether that particular research how it is going to benefit 
okay what benefit you are going to get from that research okay a cv uh, maximum up to two pages in the prescribed format again the format is provided to you with the recent photograph including summary of achievement and research interest list of relevant publications maximum five most important ones okay so if you have more than five publication you have to just give maximum of five a letter of recommendation from phd supervisor that is the next thing which is required a letter of agreement from the proposed host supervisor means whosoever is going to host you so for indian student host will be in france for french student host will be in india so that particular thing you need then phd synopsis or short summary of phd work with title up to two pages only okay so that's going to be your summary of whatever phd work you are doing so for phd students only short summary of uh, purpose of work for internship for master student that is for french master student of course indian master students cannot apply for this research experience uh, letters uh, research experience letter or publications if any if you have any of them first author or co-author kindly combine the first page of all the publication and close as a single pdf file that means whatever research papers if you have published or research publications if you have just the first pages of that you have to uh, make a pdf file and combine them no objection certificate from head of the institution that means wherever you are studying you have to make a no objection certificate an oc certificate that they are not objecting you that you are going for a certain period to france to have an internship over there a scan copy of passport both front and back a recent photograph so these things are required note what are the important notes that the document enclosed must respect the length indicated above it's strongly encouraged to apply early or timely processing rather than towards the end of the deadline please ensure that you completely fill the application form and submit with the requested documents attached incomplete application will not be considered the host institution or university in india of indian applicant must be in france and vice versa for the french application it's well and understood right so if the application is successfully submitted candidate should not apply again application received through the post or submitted after the deadline will not be considered for evaluation remember that you only have to submit online applicants must name the documents as follows research proposal name should be proposal then your name cv should be cv then your name letter of, of recommendation will be lor1 then your name letter of recommendation from host supervisor will be like lor2 and then your name no objection certificate will be noc then your name space your name phd synopsis will be synopsis space your name summary of the internship uh, internship slash uh, space your name and passport will be like passport your name so this is how you have to name the documents while submitting it okay prescribed formats are over here for indian and french student to download the format for the research proposal you have to click on this link to download the format uh, for cv you have to click on this particular link and uh, this link although it's not active over here but once you download this pdf you will be able to click on this link okay so don't worry download the pdf on your own and click on this link to check it out for french students french master student these are the links provided okay timeline again i am just telling you that the timeline is that uh, the launching of this has been done in february 2022 and our deadline of this is 31st of march as i have said evaluation will be done through april to may 2022 declaration of the result will be in june 2022 and starting date of fellowship will be after september 2022 so if you are interested and if you think that it this particular internship or exchange program is going to help you in your phd work or in your research work then you should go for it guidelines and important instructions like awarded fellows shall be invited to submit a valid travel itinerary according to their proposed duration of fellowship is stated in her is her application form the travel itinerary for visit will be valid only for the declaration of result a request made by the fellow for reducing or increasing the duration of fellowship may be accepted on the following condition the conditions are here you can read about it okay so all the things are there in this particular pdf that's it i have just discussed about the majority or oh, sorry the most important part so that it becomes clear for you that uh, the the overall idea you should get that yes this is something which you should apply for so now once you have made your mind that yes i want to apply for this what you have to do is you just have to go over here not registered yet click here to log in you just have to click on this and here comes a registration form just register for this sign up on this just normal signing up process is there you have to just provide your username email address country you are applying as a phd student or whatever okay then uh, since your country is india so phd student will be active 
if you put france so there two of them will be there right so coming back to this then once you sign up you just have to log in through this and then the form will open up where you have to uh, like fill all the details which are been asked and that's how this thing is going to be done all right so this part you have to explore if you think that you are interested in it so that's it for this particular video i hope this video was useful to you and if you guys like this video please do consider subscribing this channel for more research related content and i will see you guys in the next video till then have a great day bye bye take care